أحسن الله إليكم يقول السائل في حديث أبي أيوب الأنصاري رضي الله عنه هل هذا يعني أن أنه خلال الثلاثة أيام يجوز له أن يعرض عنه ويهجره ولا يسلم عليه؟ نعم الحديث يدل على هذا إلا يجل يذهب ما في نفسه يجل يذهب ما في نفسه من الوجود على أخيه بسبب المنازعة أو الخصومة هذه فطرة بشرية ما ما هذا أمر طبيعي أعطاه الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم هذه الثلاث إذا كان لابد أما إذا كان الأحسن أنه ما يهجر أصلا لكن إذا كان ولا بد ثلاثة أيام فقط حتى يذهب ما في نفسه وحتى يشعر الآخر أنه مخطي نعم بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب علامة صالح بن فوزان بن عبد الله الفوزان حفظ الله تعالى وزاس The hadith أبي أيوب الإنصاري رضي الله تعالى عنه that it is not permissible for a Muslim to cut off or make a hajr from his brother for more than three, day, three nights when they meet one another this one rejects that one and that one rejects this one uh, and the best of them is the one who begins the salam, the hadith. The question is, in this, in the hadith of Abi Ayyub al Ansari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, is it that these three days that where they make hajr from one another and this one rejects that one, uh, and the uh, that they make hajr from one another and do not give one another salams, is this permissible? Alama bin Fuzan Hafidullah Ta'ala responded by saying, Yes, the hadith is evidence for this. In order that the feelings that one contains within himself goes away. The feeling that he contains within himself regarding his brother, that it disappears or goes away due to the, uh, some disagreement or debate or argumentation. And this is, the, this is human nature. This is a natural occurrence. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave the per uh, gave the person uh, three days if it becomes a necessity, and the best is that they do not make hajr or cut one another off uh, in the first place. However, if this does happen, and that it is only allowed for three days until what a person contains in his heart goes away and until he feels that the uh, until the other one feels that he has made a mistake and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless the Muslims to practice Islam in a manner that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and unites our hearts, especially the hearts of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, that we adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and that we don't cut one another off, and that we don't hate one another, and that we do not fail to give one another the rights of salam and the other rights that we have over one another. But when we do these things, we do it only for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to come closer to Allah and with the Dawabit Sharia. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.